Good morning, Scotland. Good morning, social media land. I hope you are well. It is Wednesday, the 18th of September, 2024. Scotland is a nation overflowing with natural wealth. Oil, gas, renewable energy, our resources are abundant. But here's the question. If we are so rich in resources, why do we feel economically dependent on the UK? The truth is not about what Scotland has. It's about who controls it. Much of our wealth is siphoned off and funneled through systems designed to benefit the UK, while Scotland is left to believe it needs the UK to survive. Scotland produces enormous amounts of renewable energy, especially from wind. We generate far more than we need. But instead of reaping the benefits of that energy, we are forced to buy it back through the national grid at inflated prices. Think about that for a second. We're producing the energy, but we're paying more than many other nations to use it. Why? Because the system is designed to keep us dependent. It's not about lack of resources. It's about lack of control. This is a familiar story, isn't it? It mirrors how our oil was treated for decades. North Sea oil brought vast wealth, but did Scotland see the full benefit? No, not at all. The profits flowed south, while we were left with the environmental impact and the narrative that we're too small, too weak to manage these resources ourselves. It's not just energy either. The Barnett formula, the very mechanism that determines public spending in Scotland, is part of the same strategy. We're told that Scotland gets more per capita than any other country within the UK. But what they don't tell you is that Scotland's contributions through oil and energy exports far exceed what we get in return. It's a very clever tactic, really. Make Scotland believe it's dependent on UK funding, when in reality, it's our wealth that's propping up the system. And when you think about it that way, it's clear. This isn't about Scotland being dependent. This is about Scotland being exploited. Economic dependency is a lie. It's a story we've been fed for generations to make us doubt ourselves, to make us believe that we can't go it alone. But Scotland's resources, our energy, our talent, our potential has been consistently underused, controlled by a system that benefits others more than it benefits us. So the real question is, how long are we going to allow this to continue? How long will we let our wealth be taken resold to us and used as proof that we're too reliant on the UK. The narrative of economic dependency is one of the most powerful tools used to suppress the independence movement. And that's because when people fear economic collapse, they hold on to the status quo. But it's time to see through that fear. It's time to recognise the reality that Scotland isn't dependent on the UK. It is exploited by it. So what would happen if we took control of our own resources, what would happen if Scotland controlled its energy, its economy, its future? Well, that's the real threat to the UK. That's why they cling to the narrative of dependency, because they know that once Scotland takes control, once we realise our true power, we won't need them anymore. And that's the truth they're trying to keep from us. You guys have a wonderful day. Can't get no sleep. sleep, 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 sleep.